So guys, there are lots of videos on my YouTube channel about running Kyle Linux as a computer using the virtual machine, WSL or even with the Android phone. But in this video, I'm gonna show you that how easily you can run Kyle Linux over the browser or you can access Kyle Linux with your browser. We all know that we can remotely access our Kyle Linux machine using different type of remote desktop software, right? But now after watching this video, you'll be able to run your Kyle Linux computer on your browser or you can access your Kyle Linux computer using your browser. So without talking too much, let's get started. So guys, now you can see my computer screen. So first of all, open up your browser, then go to google.com and search on Google, GitHub, Mehdi Shakil. And it will take you to my GitHub profile. Go to my GitHub profile. Then click on this repository section. And here you will get a repository named Kali Helpers. Open this repository. And here you will get a script folder. Go to that folder. And into this folder you will get couple of bash script for different purpose of Kali Linux. Like this one can help you to install Broadcom drivers, some tools collection, Sarex installer and also there is a script named kob.sh. This is for installing Kali Linux over the browser or accessing Kali Linux over the browser. If you open that script, you will see this is a simple script and this script contains only some commands. So if you want to access your Kali Linux computer with the browser, you just simply copy all of this command one by one and paste it on your terminal and you will ready to go. But if you want to execute this script on your Kalinux computer, let me show you how to do that. So go back to the repository and from here click on code and copy this URL. Now open up your terminal, change your directory to desktop and here type git clone then paste here the Kali helper repository link then hit enter and it will clone the repository and script on your desktop. Now change your directory to Kali helpers, then go to script. Now if I type ls, you will see all of this basic script on your Kalinux computer. Now first of all, you need to give the execution permission to kob.sh this file. So simply type here sudo chmode plus x, then type kob.sh, then hit enter. Then give your root password and again if I type ls, you will see the color is changed. That means now we can execute this script on our Kalinux computer. Now clear your terminal, then simply type here sudo then dot slash kob.sh then hit enter and it will do every configuration on your Kalinux machine to access it over the browser. It will take some time. So you have to wait. First of all, it's going to update your Kylinux packages. Then it will automatically configure the VNC to run Kylinux or access Kylinux over the browser. So you have to wait. Okay guys, now our setup is completed and you can see this script give us this URL. Copy this URL and open up my Kylinux browser and paste this URL here. Then you can see I get a VNC connection. Now if I click on connect, you can see now I can access and use my Kylinux computer using the browser. Now let me show you how you can use from the other computer. To do it, first of all, open up another terminal and take your Kylinux IP address. And for this type if config. And you can see your Kylinux IP address here. So remember this IP address on note down. And also you have to remember this port number 8081. So now let's go back to our Windows computer. And if I open a browser here, then type here your Kalinux IP address, in my case which is 192.168.0.110 and type here 8081 and hit enter. And you will get couple of this file. Just normally click on VNC auto HTML and you will get the access of your Kalinux computer over your browser. And from your browser, now you can use your Kalinux computer. So guys, like this, you can easily access your Kalinux computer only with your browser. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you are new to this channel, then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you are watching Tech Tutorial and I'm signing out.